Yes. No. Are you lost? That's the next anime on our list. So I I actually stumbled across this am- anime on accident on Kiss uh, or uh, a means of watching anime. Is <laughs> <laughs> you know that? No, they, no one can decipher that. Anyways, I got six minutes into the pre-airing of this epi- of this series, and let me just tell you that when I when I got to that, to that six minutes in. She had th- this girl who's a survive like a wilderness survivalist master drank fish flesh, peed in someone's mouth, and did mouth to mouth to someone else to transfer water. Hello, you're listening to the Hypercast, and this is your host, Xavier Evans. This is your co-host, Brandon. It's your co-host, Charles. And today's up topic, which I Brandon took the mic from me is going to be about summer anime 2019. Ones that we're looking forward to. Well, yeah, the ones we're looking forward to. There's a couple that we all said no to, so it's going to be very interesting to talk about. It's mainly the ones where interesting. they have questionable plots and quotations. Questionable of the R18 one. That's the one that we're not touching. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the cool thing about anime, it caters to each audience. You can make anime about music. You can make anime about sports. You can make anime about shirtless dudes who are in prison with an R18 plus rating. It's, it's, There's something for everyone. Yep. Anyways, uh, just some sad news. A lot of my seasonal anime are ending. Uh, last JoJo Friday was uh, on Friday of last week. I'm waiting on the half hour special so we can whoop or no the one hour special so we can whoop Diablo with gold experience and I will uh spoiler alert gold experience requiem so yeah that's gonna be awesome uh my hero academia for you guys interested in that uh awesome shonen comes out October 12th get some all might we get the meat uh she looks like a dragon girl. I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's from the manga, but yeah, it's going to be hype. I'm not going to spoil it. Oh, yeah. One Piece started its Wano arc. And man, after the that exhausting Big Mom arc, it feels like One Piece again. I know so many fans are now coming back to the series and are happy. It, 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 it has that One Piece magic again. I'm saying to you, Brandon, I know you're watching the series right now. Nathaniel's watching as well. Well, specifically Nathaniel then, I guess. Or whoever's watching the series, uh, that Big Mom arc, <sighs> you better get some popcorn and just buckle up because it's, it it does and doesn't feel like One Piece to me. It's sad because I try want to get into One Piece one these days, but it's just I feel like I don't know where to start. And I mean, I just say start at the beginning and just watch. Like, don't there's I know there's don't a give big yourself whole, a like filler arcs. And I'm probably going to see if there's actually like a list or something to help you the, skip those fillers. The thing, I don't like filler. The things about the filler arcs, they're actually like good stories. Yeah, that's why I actually like the filler arcs. The only filler arcs I didn't like were the flashbacks, and they only did that twice. Yeah, I'm I'm don't like filler too much because I just rather watch the series. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take anything away from the series. I know. The only and difference is it's not canon, and the transitions are so seamless, you can't even tell that it's filler. Remember when I was talking to the Thanos? He didn't even know the part that he was watching was filler. It's because they seamlessly did that, because that part wasn't in the manga. They're just doing that so the manga can get some uh, space. Yeah. yeah. I might watch one these days. Maybe when Lumpy's ends. Charles, you best start now. <laughs> I started in high school in the summer, waited a school year, and then started the next summer and caught up. But yeah, uh, that's that's my anime news. So let's start off with what we have on the screen right now. First anime on the list of animes we're going to talk about is the Machi. Is it wrong that I met you in a dungeon season two? I put this on a watch list because I actually watched season one and it actually was okay. I hope season two builds more on it. So this is from the... Uh, first season that um it was called is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon yep so this is the second season that we're seeing now and it, it looks pretty good i watched half of the first season i didn't ever get to finish it it was interesting but there was so much pandering to hestia that i was like okay i don't know if i'm gonna continue this i haven't watched this anime myself yet but from the trailer that i watched for the second season it looks interesting 
to me personally, it looks like the main character has gotten a lot stronger compared to how uh, season one started him out. Yeah. Well, the whole good thing is from looking at the joking at the cover art for season two, it looks like he's focusing more on that night that box girl from season one. I'm not gonna lie. Like when I first seen the cover photo, it looked like the main character uh, with the white hair. He was holding like an SMG, like sideways. Wrong anime. <laughs> it's it's not anime if there's no protagonist with albino hair and red eyes. You know. Yeah, wrong anime. Like I said. Oh, Next speaking of that, list. we have another antagonist. Protagonist. Next anime on our list will be Doctor Stone. AK, this, AKA Leakhead. I put this on my, I'm going to give it three episodes list. I'm going to give it three episodes. If I like it, I'll continue on it. I know I'm definitely going to watch this. It looks very interesting. And I know when I usually go like manga hunting or like I'm with Xavier and Charles, when we go to second and Charles or somewhere like that, I usually see it there. So it looked interesting and I think I'm going to watch it. So out of us three, uh, I did happen to watch this a couple days ago when it first aired. It was an it's an interesting concept. If you love chemistry and science, that's what this anime is about. The main character, his goal, his primary goal is to beat fantasy with science. Science. Everyone is turned into stone from some unknown reason. And he he seeks to cure this predicament and uh, restore humanity or whatever like that. So and it, it and as someone who's uh, finished um the their first chemistry course in college, like a lot of the things that they're talking about, like uh, the different chemicals, molecules, and all that stuff, that that is very real chemistry. So if you like stuff like from uh, alchemist, like you think like animes that involve more focus more on the science aspect, right? So if you're into that stuff, Doctor Stone, I think is for you. Next anime on our list will be Fire Force. I'm going to give this a three episode try because it actually does look interesting. It's probably going to be one of my first shonens in a while, so it's be very interesting to watch. I feel like this is going to be the My Hero Academia of firefighters. That's what it seemed like. Well, I, I can't say that because I only saw one type of power and it was someone wielding fire. Wait, are they just firebenders? Only one is. Read the summary. Oh, yeah. Only he has it. Oh, he can control the flames. Other people are just combusting into flames. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really like the way this anime looks. Yeah. So like uh, the main rundown is people are exploding into flames and turning into these fire demon things called inferno infernals. And these guys have to like extinguish those things using different means of fighting. I saw a priestess. Yeah, it seems one has a sword, one use one is a priestess. One guy looks like he has some uh, some strange guy, ability to some, like extinguish things. He has seen, he had extinguisher gun maybe, and then the main character can actually control fires because it seems like he's a second generation of these fire fire people, or these the, the spontaneous combustion people. He's yeah. I am a firebender. Yeah. All right. All right. Next anime on our list is Arphelia, or how do you say that correctly? From commonplace to world's strongest. This is an anime that's probably going to be my number one watch because I actually read the web novel and uh, I got to read the light novel one these days because this series is actually, this, this season is going to be based more off the light novel than the web novel. So some things will be changed. So it's be very interesting for me. Yeah. Uh, from commonplace to world's strongest. Now, it looks very rpg ish to me and I like that. That's all I can really say about it. it I can tell I, it's, so. I can tell it's going to be like a fantasy anime. I can actually explain a little bit more about it, actually why I actually enjoyed the series more. Uh, I can run, he can give you a rundown. And his entire class was taken to another world, and he ends up with the, he, he goes to ends up with like a like a synergist class. Like he's an alchemist. Oh. He makes stuff. That's what his class was. Oh, everybody's calling it everybody had these overpowered classes, so everybody calls this class shit because his class is so average. Because everybody else had these overpowered classes and he ends up with synergists. From hmm. only transmutation skill, which if we watch Von Malcolm's, you know it can actually be a good skill, but the problem is in this world, they don't know that. So most of the series is him actually using his transmutation skill and being very strong with it. And Oh, I see the synonym now. From common job class to the world's strongest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, I actually like this series. Only thing I will have to bring up is is how the, the, trans, the transmutation of the main character from 
the first part to his new form, which I won't say much how it happened. Yeah. But it actually is pretty dark when it does happen because I, the manga is beautiful when did this part when he actually went from his normal self to this new form, <clears throat> that new form of his new self. Well, next anime on the list will be called Binland Saga. I'm gonna give this a three. I'm definitely watching this one. This one actually looks pretty interesting. This looks really good. I love myself some history and some Vikings and all that stuff. So, Vinland Saga is right up my alley. I did buy the first uh, volume of the manga, but I haven't gotten to it just yet. I know it's kind of stupid for me not reading it just yet, but. Brandon, you have a habit of collecting things and then not. <laughs> reading it or that's called stuff hoarding like that. that's called hoarding yeah Sh- shut up <laughs> uh man it's foreshadowing but, but yeah uh, but the style and the art the art style and the story of it looks very interesting yeah definitely some viking swords war bloodshed all yeah. that stuff it looks good our missing co-host would actually would actually probably just scream of joy and all that this uh, oh this is right up his alley swords yeah, this anime, and vikings we should actually tell we should actually warn burly about this dudes anime. it would be an anime he'd probably say he'd probably just say screw one piece i'm watching this grunting burly dudes like it, it, wait, vikings so when does it come out is it already out um july 8th it comes out tomorrow oh so monday okay our next anime on the list <clears throat> best boy gets his own season and a, a certain scientific accelerator a certain scientific accelerator. I actually watched the first season of Search Magical Index and I actually enjoyed it. I actually, I do know very little about this. I do know some about this character. I actually did enjoy his character a whole lot. I actually also read the spinoff manga to this character and I'm definitely going to give this a shot. I might actually, it might actually give me a reason to finish Search Magical Index and all that, season two and all that, and season three. Now, when we watched the trailer, it looked cool because. This character's overpowered. He just stopped the truck by looking at it. And it just flipped over him. It changes the direct. He reminds me of L from uh, Stranger Things. I actually have, I actually know a good video to show you guys. It actually explains his power. It actually explains his power pretty decently. So maybe after all this, I can show you, the, I'll show you the, his, how his power is actually, his, how his power works because it's overpowered, but it has a balance. Now, uh, what... What's the purpose? What's his purpose in the first or the series he's from? I'm trying to remember because I know very little about because I stopped that season one. I, st- I watched season one. I'm on season two, and he's pretty much like, I'll say it now, He's pretty much a side character. So it says uh, where he, he's level zero, lacks power, and level five possesses an overwhelming amount. So he's considered level five because he has a ridiculous amount of power. Yep. And his accelerator is made to like explain and regulate his powers, something like that. Yeah, because actually, it's up to the world's most powerful Esper and his newfound companion to protect the last order and defend Acme City as well. It's I, this character. Oh, so he's like an anti. Oh, no, not an anti hero. He's just a hero. Somewhat. He's crazy. He's a, he's a nutcase. Yeah, I saw some people dying and being killed. So, or and someone was getting zipped into a body bag. Let's... I like I like this character. I read this manga and I sort of got that manga was an idol. Yeah, it was idol manga. It was weird. That's how I actually introduced to him. Next anime on our list, the anime I can't wait for because it's second season. Cute little is, children. Screw you. Is skill is skill teasing Tagia san second season. His first season was adorable. I actually picked up the manga originally, read the manga, found that it has an anime, watched the anime, then I heard the second season's coming out, and I was excited because I love how cute. Yes, you're hearing more cute for me. Yep. the manga was it's usually the cold hearted people who are, enjoy the romance and cutesy stuff yeah I like this series and I can't wait and also I'm hoping they te- oh, I'm hoping they actually tease a little bit of the spinoff manga which actually shows them older with a child it did show that in the trailer there was an older version of them walking on the bridge mm. you, might, so you, might, you might get that we might get we might see I don't know, I can't wait to see this I don't know NBA. I'll so yeah, um, for this. girl teases boy um, romance story Season two of it. It's popular enough to get a season two. Oh boy. Next anime on list. So literally this trailer was 10, you know, it's 30, 30 seconds of girls lifting weights. Xavier, I need to give it. How many kilograms are the dumbbells you lift? Okay. That's a no for me, Chief. It didn't look interesting at all. It was just girls lifting weights. Nothing was said. Cool. Okay. Well, this is just cute, cute girls um, getting buff. Okay, oh no! So I'm reading the summary right now, and it says muscle fetish. Oh no! What? 
Oh boy. So, anyway, anyways, uh, so the main story is uh, a girl is noticing that she's gaining weight, and she looks and she finds a gym, and all these. I guess she joins these girls in their workout club. So that's interesting, I guess. A.K. What will ill? And I'm not going to next well, anime list. It's going to be if there's one extra interesting is. Lord El Mito number two case files rail zipping grace note. I'm sorry for my English, but I'm doing my best. This actually looks very interesting with how it's like it's like old time, like it's like London and all that. It actually looks interesting. Yeah, I like the way it looks. Um, it's actually pretty it, cool. It reminds me of the style of like Overlord and then like Rising of the Shield Hero, like combined. Actually, it's more interesting. There's actually the second season I just noticed. So I'm actually going to probably watch the first season. It's first season first, which is literally the same name, just without with just with a different after the thing after the Grace Note. So I'm actually going to give this a try. And a fun fact, this was made by Annie Plex. You, if you watched Adult Swim's anime, you may have heard that a couple times. Hey, they're back. Okay. Next anime? Um, next anime is Zach is... Cheap magician. I'm sorry. Just I'm not saying that. I don't like the word. I like my English does not like the word. But isekai cheap. Isekai cheap magician. M- Majusushi. I don't know. Magician. 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 Just call it magician because let's take on to. Well, I'm reading the rough translation. All I know is I re- the first chapter I didn't really understand because the the, the manga starts you off the manga throws you into this whole world and then the manga says oh let's go back in time to explain how this all happened. I did not like that. Actually, I, I did not. That's the reason I didn't like the manga. It was the first chapter was, oh, here's him doing all this action stuff ready. And now here's him back in the beginning. Like, oh, okay. So it looks like some kind of like another fantasy RPG sort of inspi- inspired anime. I might check it out if they don't cash on this. Navi. Lolly looking girl in the it's corner. Navi. It's just what's called Navi. That, that, that means she's going to have a lot of involvement in the story. Navi like annoyance. I mean, not Navi talks to you every three seconds. Well, not Navi's more main character than you. I would have liked that. All right, so next ooh. anime on the list. Mm, this is something uh, that we probably just won't even watch. But it, 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 magical senpai. It's fan service. There's no way hiding it, it. Her chest just doesn't make sense. They the look like on. they look like individual balloons coming out of her shirt. If <laughs> yeah, the mo- anime's whole thing is she can it's, do magic super well, but when she's an audience, she gets embarrassed. Now, with due respect, I do understand that. But maybe she this club. is maybe this is comedy over in Japan. But for me yeah. personally, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah, no, I, I, I like this kind of stuff, but this is not something old. I read the manga to a certain point, and I got sick and tired of it because it was the same old. He, she's trying to get him to join her. Cl- he, here's her trying to get him to, with the club, trying to make more people into the club. Here's her trying to do some stupid magical act that always messes up because she gets embarrassed and the main character does it without a problem sometimes and then she's so embarrassed but then when he's gone, she does it perfectly. Yeah, that's the whole summary. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't mind things being blown out of proportion in terms of like how the characters act and what they look like, but there's a certain level of realism to the point where I just can't enjoy it. I can't enjoy it because it's not relatable anymore yeah so yeah next time on the list which is something i'm slightly excited for which is mao sama sama retry aka i broke my leg can you take me to texas <laughs> <laughs> i'm actually looking forward to this sadly because i actually did read the light novel sadly it looks good sadly and i'm like sadly like i actually did read the light novel and i'm looking excited to it it's just the some the, the trailer the teaser they gave us wasn't really enough to draw us. I want to say this. It wasn't enough to get these guys actually interested. No, I don't think the trailer did it much justice. Like we need a little bit more background on as to why he this guy who looks mean wants to help this girl travel the world, I guess. It may. But looking at the synopsis. Even the synopsis doesn't look okay. Again. It, it, it doesn't even tell us that much. But it does look like a cute anime with a nice art style. Give it three episodes? Yeah, I'll give it three episodes. So far, I would have given everything three episodes besides the fan service one that we just jumped over. Yeah. Okay, next. Oh, my God. This next thing on the list is Do You Like Your Mom? Her normal attack is two attacks at full power. 
I'm not watching this at all. I will give it a try because it looks cute and funny. Okay, uh, Xavier, I'll see you on the other side. I said give it a try. I didn't say I was going to binge it yet. But I, I saw the trailer for this a very long time ago on YouTube, and I, I thought it was funny. Yeah, I only think I'm, I'm, it makes me it off. Looks, like, yeah, it's is it based, I think it's based like someone's mom playing video games and like she's good at it or something. I don't know. It's funny. I like it. Hurts me inside a little. Oh my, God, it's my mom's overpowered. Oh, no. Mm. Up oh, next, anime. It's my, one of my favorite cute mangas to read. Uh, yeah, here it is again. Damn. Is If it's for my daughter, I'd even defeat the Demon Lord. This series was adorable. It gets very sad. The reason I like this series, it hits very hard topics. Mm. It actually hits the topic of because she is technically a demon. And there's a point in time when a character will 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 be anti-demon and go after her and she goes through like oh no she goes through a she goes through a check she goes through something she actually goes through a problem like she's not liked oh so she goes through like uh mental spirals there actually is a very interesting series because she's demon and she's trying to fit into a in a normal like society human, yeah. humans I like do, it because so, do people know that she's a demon because she looks some pretty do. human no they don't find out she's a demon until a bit later until they pull up it, they they don't realize until they pull up her hair one day and see horns which oh. are broken off because of a because it's she's the sign of a criminal. Mm. I mean, it, it, the way the trailer showed it, it she, she was just a cute girl. Um, she's it, it, working at a. There's actually bar. very deep moments. There actually is a couple of deep moments in the series. There actually is a point where she actually trying to rip off her own horn. I remember that part pretty well. She trying to rip off her own horns. So this is her trying to adapt yeah. to a society that doesn't accept her. Basically, she's, she's keeping a secret, and oh there God. actually is a scene where she's trying to rip off her horns. That's probably a very hard hit, hard hitting part in the series. Next anime on the list, which didn't look interesting. I'm sorry, but well, Astra well, Lost in Space. They didn't really show much besides someone floating in space you know and that, being found. You know that movie where there's like woman lost in space. That's what it reminded me a lot of. The only one I can think of is that one where that dude got stuck on Mars. It was a recent movie too, and like this woman's lost in space or something. In the whole, it, and she, it's just, uh. but yeah, uh, this one didn't give us too much. But I see a lot of main characters on the cover, and it's definitely not going to be as lonely as we thought it was based on the trailer. To me, it looks interesting. I, I know I'm like I like space and that stuff, so. I know I would be interested in it. I know there's a lot it, of stuff. It, it has like. a sci-fi tag on it. So, yeah, yeah with sci-fi and that stuff, yeah, it's out of space. I'll like it. Yeah, it's out of space. We, it's out of space. So, yeah, it's got sci-fi. Yes. No. Are you lost? That's the next anime on our list. So, I I actually stumbled across this anime on accident on Kiss uh, or uh, a means of watching anime. <laughs> Xavier, you gotta delete that. You know that. <laughs> no, they, no one can decipher that. Anyways, I got six minutes into the pre airing of this episode of this series. And let me just tell you that when I, when I got to that, to that six minutes in, she had th- this. Girl who's a survive like a wilderness survivalist master drank fish flesh, peed in someone's mouth, and did mouth to mouth to someone else to transfer water. I, I think I already am going to enjoy this. And Xavier, with the uh, to provide some context, there's four high school girls. They get stranded on an island after being on a class trip, and. Yeah, they're stranded on an island. It really doesn't go any farther than that. It's a it's a comedy. I would go with like comedy, I guess. I just think it's comedy. There's a t- yeah, comedy it, adventure. They, it feeds off these girls getting shocked at like, oh, this uh, girl who knows all about survival can do this and that. But it does teach you some real survival techniques. That's what I like Heck about yeah, it. There's like, an anime the, I watched. There's writers who actually did research on survival. Actually, there's anime. There's um, there's an anime out there which is in my top ten anime list. That actually has a, has a, an arc where they there's a bunch of there's, a, there's a middle school of girls you might know this anime where they they they're on a bus they're they're in a bas their basketball team was going from a trip or something and then they stumble they went off the edge of the cliff and then smashed on they had to survive the series gets very dark because there's there's cannibalism involved so it, it reminds me a little bit of that of survival but it says more cutesy not towards the dark gruesome part of this of survival. 
because four girls for I mean isn't that as bad because there's less food you have to get but when you have a whole cl- like a whole class for like a whole class it just comes yeah it's very dark but, but hey, I'm, it's I'm, cutesy so I'm gonna watch this one for giggles it's just girls giggles having fun memes. on an island doing cute little dances in the intro I'm starting to feel weird as I think about this all right so moving next on. anime analyst is two they abandoned sacred beasts trailer did nothing it does look slightly interesting oh, that's why i can't remember anything about the trailer it didn't have anything in it it did look interesting i might give another i might look up a trailer on youtube to see if there actually is any more trailers because usually it's 12 episodes out so far well it's 12 episodes that's what it's gonna be that's planned oh air. wait that's planned it, comes out it, july aired, 1st. it aired july 1st so it's already out yeah so actually by july 8th the second episode would be out so yeah i might give this a try i'll be brand new and I know I'll definitely get this one a try. To the abandoned sacred beasts. It'll be like the first three episodes. But still, like, regardless, I think, like, the three episodes once I think I'll just watch in full. I mean, this one gives me vibes of uh, how not to summon a demon lord. But okay, I did remember. Somewhat. I, yeah, I'm to say that. Yeah, I'm about to this say is it. what I think it's about based on what I saw in the trailer. Look at the summary. There's um well I, I just want to go on what I think. There's this girl holding a gun, there's a guy with a javelin, and then there's this ominous dude in the background with a bunch of dragons. I think these four characters up front are all dragon hunter specialists. And this guy back here is like some commander of the Van dragons. Helsing. He looks like he looks like fucking Van Helsing. I'm sorry. He, he looks like he's gonna have like some twisted personality. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, I read the this one's this this one is. Would you love a pervert as long as she's cute? The anime. Well, before we start, answer that question to yourself. Answer that question. Just we'll keep, we'll give you we'll give you a moment. Did you think about it? Good. But no, I'm not watching this. I read the first chapter of the manga, and it really didn't interest me. Let's throw a generic main character, a bunch of girls around him. He gets a love letter from, he gets a love letter finally. And in the love letter, it's a white pair of panties. And that's what he, and he's trying to figure out whose panties they are. It's not how you tell someone that you love them, but okay. No, it is a love, like, love letter and there's her panties inside. Like, oh. It's basically saying stop by my house after school. It's true. It, it, it hurts me because now you have all these girls who are truly trying to, and I'm going to say this in a few words, are just attack him. Eat him alive. Okay, next game on my list is Maidens of the Savage Season. This I, reminds me of a Netflix series that just came out. It does? Yeah, uh, literally, it's almost the same plot line. Kids find out about the word sex, and they're trying to figure out what these different things mean. Yeah, from looking at the trailer, I literally I made a joke because this character looks like this, one, one of the girls looks like she's talking to her brother. She's blushing his face like, oh, no, I, I'm sorry. This, this, this gives me vibes of, oh, no. <laughs> Brandon's all like, oh, man, why am I still here? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this I mean, it, you, you can't hate it because this is something that many kids go through. Like they, yeah. they start learning about those things. I just don't know why it's a freaking anime, but OK. All right. Next so. anime list, which I'll obviously have a topic to talk about, it, is B E M BEM. Jazz and trap go together. Yeah, it actually looked very interesting. I actually it, it didn't show much, and it showed us the main characters, and they actually look interesting. I'm definitely watching this. I swear, it looks like some old school like noir, like uh, vampire hunters. I don't know. I'm like sort it, of though. like aspects of like Cowboy Bebop. It's like a mixture of persona persona but i really like the art style with this uh the music as well is good the jazz so rap remix the three the three find themselves ostracized from both humans and other monsters but the three continue to fight in hopes of one day becoming humans themselves i like yeah it's a kind of like yokai they become humans interesting like have, it looks like they actually from the looks like from the thing they say they actually have a humanoid form and a de- demon form so as we've seen how that plays into well yokai whatever demon yokai they're the same yokai. thing but okay next anime list sorry this is in japanese i'm gonna book shit this very bad is naka no hiti jerome Ju- naka no hito genome genome we're not going jinukamushu with 
<laughs> Literally, I'll say this now from from when I first seen it, it looks like here's a survival game and I'm a llama. Now survive. This llama looks like he killed somebody. He's wearing a suit with ominous lighting and there's pictures of children behind him. Oh, no. This actually looks funny. It actually looks going to be funny. Oh, my God. Dog and Rampa, but with a llama. What's the genre for this? Um, game. game drama. Oh, I wanted it to be horror. Oh, well. Rip. But yeah, if you want to check out Naka no Hito Genome, um, llamas and high school kids. Our oh, next anime on our list is Copcraft. So think of it as uh, a good cop and a knight. A knight. A Pegasus knight lady thing. I don't know. Just, a night buddy it, it, girl. It's your, it's your old school buddy buddy police officer, but one of the characters is a knight. A lolly knight. With magic powers. So, yeah. It's, the whole it's anime definitely, is it's basically a, the human world one day about 15 years ago, a gate opened and a alternate world where fairies and monsters live have now pretty much in. Now it has over 2 million immigrants from both worlds and as a result. Oh, okay. So, the world of Fantasy, fantasy and real world are clashing and, and you have a detective police duo with a yeah, from okay. both sides of the world sweet okay you know, i might i might watch it i'm debating right now it's action my, fantasy magic police and sci-fi i might watch the first episode just to see if i even want to continue on it may do three episodes yeah it's called cop craft if you want to check it out i'm gonna watch this one as well brandon's about to be like i'm gonna eat this up right now <laughs> yeah Okay, next name on our list, Given. Given. Do you like gay boys? Do you like music? This is for you. Xavier. What? I think it was, I think the anime itself is cute. I like what it's going for. I like the style. I do like the style. I can't say that, but I'm just not, I'm just, how'd you put it? I'm not interested in, I'm going to say this now, I'm not interested in idol based animes. I try to watch them. I just can't. How do you feel about Miku? Hatsune Miku. I'm in a eh, area with her. I like the music. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like any anime music based on that. I like, okay. yeah. She's like one of the most. I would, I would call her a. Cl- would she, you call her a modern classic or a classic? Um, she she's a mo- she's. I would say she's more old. Because she came around in like 2000. Uh, Early 2000s. Oh, classic. I won't say classic classic because she came in around the mid 2000s area. So. Okay, next anime list, which we will probably watch for the memes. Wasteful Days of a High School Girl. The trailer had an interesting ending where there's a guy screaming, and he, we don't know what he's saying, so we start saying our own things. Uh, he, he's screaming so loud and angrily in Japanese. I, I swear, I deduced it as my wife divorced me and I can't pay the mortgage. It, it literally looked like a, t- a teacher having a midlife crisis breakdown. But anyways, this looks like it's going to be like a slice of life sort of anime. Wasteful days of high school girl. Girl. Why? <laughs> That's a weird <laughs> translation, but okay. Girl. Just just not girls. Girl. Just one girl. Tanaka decided to give her class na- classmates nicknames based on their quirks. Is this My Hero Academia? Shut your mouth. Ota for her nerdy interests and her other Sagi no, no Miyama. Oh, I butchered that. Her became Robo because of her expressionless personality. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then Baka. Dang. <laughs> they didn't even have to explain that one. You all know what that means. You idiot. Okay, so that's that. You know, Baka. If you want to watch a bunch of kids goof around and get on their teacher's nerves. And have them go through the midlife crisis. <laughs> I can't pay the mortgage. Oh no! This anime did not. Uh, honestly, this one, this anime makes two things I don't like together. Grum brum. Which would, would you go back up to the name? Would you would you, G gr, Grand Belm? Slow down your dog, Grand Belm. Yeah, Grand B E L M. When I first seen it, anime, Luchi is magical girls with the powers to control mechas. I just don't. I don't know. I think it's been overplayed. Like giving little girls who look like they're five, the ability to do these insane things like control monsters, go to war, fight wars, become like weaponized badasses. Like, I I think 
I think it's overplayed. It, it, there's a gap in it, but there's a gap in Moe in it. But it just I don't understand. Like now they have now they use marionette like mechas and control them fight like uh. But hey, maybe maybe the story will be good. Maybe, but I'll, I'll, I will never know. This is the one I'll probably give like a one episode, two episode. See what they do. Next anime on our list, oh boy, is Ensemble in- Stars, aka boy-, boy band idols. I'm not watching. Like I said earlier, I don't like idol based series. Man, this made me think of K pop immediately, but I'm not really crazy on K pop. It just made me think of it. I think I'm going to try this one out just to see how it is. <laughs> oh, no. Brandon's dream has always been to be in a boy band. No, it's not. It's called Ensemble really? Stars, if you would like to check it out. We give it a try, guys. It's it got a good rating. It good. It's got a good rating. I yeah, give it a try. It actually might be people. good. 16 users. So, yeah. Uh, let's move over to... Next one, which is the one I'm actually looking forward to, is Gorgeous Butterfly Young Nogaba. If you know the story of Nogaba, the Great Conqueror, or... Well, I forgot what you would call him. I just call him Nogaba. He's... War Award. My bad. But all I know is... I actually like this character, Nogaba, from the actual stories. It actually, it's fun researching him because of I got interested in Nogaba first with Pokemon Conquest. Actually, it was surprising enough. So this is a historical anime with samurai in the feudal era. I tend to like those types of animes. Yeah, like I said for Finland Saga, I like history. So I I will really like this one. Depending I wish how I could. the story is. I know the I know maybe anime probably hypes up the feudal era in Japan, but I would like to see what it was actually like. Because in school we learn mostly about Western medieval times and all that stuff. I would like to like really see what the feudal era was like. Yeah. Next anime on our list is Tri Knights. Literally, I'm gonna tell you now it's sports anime and it's about rugby. And those why? This one didn't unfortunately didn't have a trailer available in our country. That already scares me enough. Well, it's probably just means like copyright issues. Probably. But yeah, it, uh, it's just dudes who play rugby. There's, there's really two guys who would probably capture the hearts of many fangirls. And then they'll probably and then it's just not our cup of tea. But hey, don't knock it till you try it. It you might know? be yours, so give it a it's, try. It's sports. It's sports, school, and Jose. Jose. Which is, I think it's gay, I believe. I have no idea. Anyways. I'm not, I'm not... Oh, don't quote me on this. I just... And our last anime on the list is Machiko do Mazuka. Mazuka? Machiko do Mazoku. Literally, it's about a, a girl who gains the abilities of a devil... And she is supposed to fight some shrine maidens, looks like. Or uh, magical girls. Magical girls. Yay. We totally yeah, don't have enough de- of that. Basically, do devil girls versus magical girls. Holy heck. Okay, so it's under a slice of life. So the story's not going to go anywhere. Comedy and magic. <laughs> Charles just laughs. I think I might try this one out. Brandon, you're very lenient. I, I I like I like that you are the neutral. <laughs> well, I mean, I tried out like the uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Yeah, which Get- I I think this might be in the same style. Oh, because I there was like a little bit of action in uh, Miss ha- Kobayashi's. Have you watched Squid Girl? No, I did not. You need to check it out. I like I like I watched. Hey, Squid, are you a kid? I watched it randomly one day and I enjoyed it. it uh, well, that's that on the animes. So, yeah, that's all the summer animes that um, we've actually looked into. There's a couple animes we did skip, like anyone's like third seasons, fifth seasons, and all. We skipped those because we just can't give a good summary on it because we don't watch the other five seasons. Right. Uh, we're not caught up on that stuff. And there's there's some that we knocked because they just really didn't seem that appealing. Like, uh, the one with like uh, the girls are just exercising for like thirty seconds. It's just not our thing. I know recently there's and a big there's a big 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 boon of anime girls doing like basic stuff. Like there's one about girls stepping like girls giving disgusting looks while with their stocking the legs. Like, see, there's, there's been a lot of fetish animes coming out recently, and it's been very. I mean, weird. I, they're they're catering to specific niches. It's nice. Which yeah, it's nice for those people. 
So out of all three of us, which one is our like favorite one that we're going to definitely watch? For me, it's because well, I already have a little background of it. it is our failure from commonplace to world strongest? I'm actually excited to read it because I did read the web novel. It is based off the light novel for the anime, so there's maybe some differences, but I am going to still enjoy it nonetheless. I actually want to see the main character because I like the main character because unlike. What made me interested in the main character was actually under the tags for the novels was male yandere and it's like you don't see those ever because male yandere is you always when you see when you think of yandere you think of a girl but when there's a male yandere and that's actually it was actually very interesting seeing the main character act possessive like that without it with an actual reason xavier your choice uh i mean i've already started dr stone and i kind of enjoy it I'm, what's your top i'm then? waiting for a couple more episodes to come out before i really give it the hard deduction but i would say uh vinland and fire force i really like uh stories that look like they're gonna have a lot of substance and uh there's gonna be some hard-hitting points i would agree with you on that for vinland saga like i said before I'm very interested with history, and it looks like very action packed. Like I like convoluted stories and very well done world building. That's what catches yeah. me in animes. And then I'm also interested in a beam, the noir type style one. <clears throat> yeah, uh, trap and jazz music just go together. You need to watch that trailer for B. Um, it's great. Yeah. This season looks as great as always. Next season, it'll be like next season will be great as always. So it's actually exciting to talk about this for once. Because usually when I'm doing animes, I do it by myself, and it's like it's the most depressing thing ever. <laughs> I'm in my basement every day looking at Miku-chan. <laughs> See if you're going to get slapped. I have not so, much. So uh, finishing uh, lasting thoughts. Last thoughts. Uh, I, I like the anime that are coming out this summer. There's a couple that I like. You, if we didn't do this, I probably would not have heard of uh, these anime. I purposely did this because I know you guys haven't heard of these. Because I know you guys watch a very small amount of anime, so it's nice bringing more anime to your reviews. Well, some of these I knew, but not like all of them. Probably the only three I knew was Vinland Saga, Dr. Stone, and Fire Force. Those are the only three I knew. And then probably one more, but I can't think of it at the top of my head. Yeah, I'm glad I did this because it actually broadened your horizons, and it's nice. Huh, this made for a decently length episode. Well, <clears throat> if that concludes everything that we've meant to cover today, I would like to plug in our social media so that you can find us and reach out to us. You can find me on Twitter at uh, Xavier seven eight nine zero underscore zero zero. You can find me on Instagram at Evans zero zero Xavier. On Facebook, you can find us at Kickback Boys. Simple as that. Uh, for me on Instagram, you can find me at the Dank seventy seven. That should be easy enough to put in the Denk77 on Instagram. Um, then on Twitter, Vextrol55. The at symbol, of course, V-E-X-T-R-O-5-5. Okay, then it's on to Charles. Um, you have my Instagram, which I do plan to revive it around when Three Houses comes out because I'm definitely taking my pictures. And my Instagram is charlesbrock69. You just don't see crappy pictures of a tv <laughs> i'll be taking pictures of the switch mainly just to make it easier but i will be definitely taking pictures of my my third heart third, three house playthrough and pictures of your cat that's how you get uh a good little following going okay yeah i actually am excited for three houses ever since the 80 hours just for a simple playthrough all right for one yeah so Have a nice day so our anime lovers this has been the hypercast We'll see you guys next time and tune in next time uh, when we talk about dream games. And I would also like to talk about some ideas I have for VR dramas, aka VR novels and other simulations alike. We'll see you next time on have the Hypercast. See ya.